Now this is the welcome screen. Go and click this thumbnail to start a new drawing. A new drawing is open. If you look at the, 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 the drawing area, you see some palette. This is because I have been open some drawing in my previous work. So yours might be different from mine. Also, if you click the start tab, the recent drawing area, you see drawings that you don't have because I have been using this drawing before I start this tutorial. Now let's go back to the drawing. There is a way to avoid this problem. For example, when you use your smartphone, you want to enter into a hall, maybe into a meeting, you change the profile of the phone. That way, if you have a call, the call is not going to interrupt this what you You can do the same thing with AutoCAD. You can set a profile. So, any setting that you do in that profile, it only remain in that profile. So, another person can have his or her own setting, then you have your own setting, and even possibly if the system that you use is being shared by different people, the administrator can have his own setting. So to set a profile, right click in the drawing area and click option. This will be the option dialog box. So leave all the other, the other tabs for the moment and click the profile tab. Now the current profile is on name profile. This is the default profile. In this option dialog box profile tab, if you look at the right side of dialog box, you have so many tabs. You have the set current. You can use this tab to set a current profile if you have more than one profile in your profile tab in the option dialog box. You have the add to list. If you want, if you want to create another profile, you can use this button. You have the rename. If you have a profile already exists in this is this dialog box, but you want to rename it, you can use this tab. You have the delete. Sometimes you have a profile which is set for a specific task which you have already completed and you don't need that profile anymore. You can use this to delete. You have the export tab. If you create a profile, you want to send this profile to your colleague or you want to use the same profile into other system, you can export that profile, then you go and import that profile. The import, just as I was saying previously, you can import any profile that somebody or you have export. You have the reset. This will reset everything to the default stage. Now, before we go further, let's start by creating a new profile. In the profile tab of the option dialog box, click the add to list. This will bring add profile dialog box. Type a profile my imperial profile. Click the apply and close button a new profile is being created click the add to list again now name this profile my youtube metric profile leave the description you can add any description if you want close and apply so you have written in two new profile click apply and click ok in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to export this profile that way you can use them in another system or use them in a later time if you need them so back again in our tutorial before you get started now let's go back to the option dialog box but this time around we're going to use different method click the down arrow next to the big red letter a and move your mouse also click option this will bring the option dialog box as you can see because we the option dialog box still remember where we leave it in the last tutorial. Now select the My YouTube Imperial profile, then click Export. This will open the Window Explorer. Navigate to a folder where you want to save it. Now go to your desktop. But before you proceed, before you proceed this tutorial, I want you to create a folder for this series. That way all the exercise that you do in this tutorial you can save them in that folder so you cannot mix up the exercise file from this series with your other projects that you have in your machine now create a folder into the desktop 
you can create a folder here or go back to your window desktop so if you want to break the folder right click and move your mouse cursor to the window that appear select the new folder icon this will bring the new folder type the name my my youtube tutorial then you save all of your exercise file in that tutorial but as you can see i have already great one at the top i'm going to delete this one so great one and open that folder inside that folder again with another two folder before you get started and designing an impressive architectural building in autocad 2018 now i'm going to open this tutorial before you get started and save this profile and save this this profile there we need to give this file a name so give the file a the same name that the profile has and click the save button autocad export the profile select this other metric profile click the export button navigate to your desktop folder youtube tutorial my youtube tutorial before you start then again give the same name that the profile has and click save autocad exports all the two profile in the in that one now if i select any of this profile then click set current then click ok i return to my drawing any changing that i do in this drawing is going to be in that profile if i press enter again now you look at the if you look at the title of the option dialog box you see my youtube imperial profile then if I select this metric profile, select this metric profile, then click the set current tab. The metric profile becomes the current profile. Now if I click OK, the metric profile is, is now the current profile. Alright, now that you have an understanding how to create and export a profile, in the next tutorial we're going to reset AutoCAD to the default that your drawing environment will be exactly the same like mine thanks very much for watching if you find this tutorial interesting please like and share if you have any question about this tutorial or you want a special tutorial please give comments below if you want more tutorial please subscribe thank you see you in the next tutorial